Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this sponsored video, I'm going to be using Photor to show you how to create social media graphics. So let's dive into how to use it now. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using Photor.com, and you can navigate to Photor.com, or you can go to the link in the description to navigate there if you'd like. So what Photor does is it allows us to create social media graphics and images for our channels and websites in a matter of minutes. In fact, you can easily edit a photo, you can make a collage, or you can create a design with Photor. There's also free and pro plans here, and you can use the student discount link in the description to get 30% off with the student discount. So I wanted to throw that out there before we get started, and now I'm going to show you how to actually create a design. So if we click on create a design, we're going to be brought to this page. And here you can actually sign up or sign in if you want. I'm going to sign into my account that I have. And now it's loading my account. I'm going to X out of that. It already says I'm logged in here. So what I can do to get started is I can go through different options here. So there's different recommendations at the top. There's social media posts, social media covers right here, and I'm actually going to be doing a YouTube thumbnail that I'm going to use on this actual video itself to just show you how easy it is to use here. There's also marketing materials. You can create logos very easily as well if that's something you're interested in. Here you can use different materials for events, for documentation, for banner ads, and this section down here is just called life where you can do book covers, wallpapers, postcards, all different things like that. So I'm going to go to YouTube thumbnail and I'm just going to click on that to get started. I'm going to X out of the student discount. And here it asks us if we want to take a look at this preview here on how to create a beautiful design. So if you want to, you can click on this and watch the video, but I'm going to walk through this right now as an example. So for this YouTube thumbnail, let's just say I wanted to add a different thumbnail or a specific type of thumbnail. You can search for different topics or categories right here. So right now they have some Christmas things going on when I'm recording this video. There's New Year's as well right here. And we can go up here and let's just type in social media. And right here is the one I'm actually going to use. It says social media new trends 2023. So I'm going to go over how to change a lot of the aspects on here and create my own unique one based off this as basically the template that I'm using. So right here, I'm going to change this image to be one of myself. So I'm going to actually just click on it and you can click delete or backspace on your keyboard or you can go right here and click this delete button to remove it. So now that's removed, I'm actually going to delete this as well and delete it entirely out of there. So if I wanted to import an image of myself, I can just go on to the right side right here under image. I'll click import and I'll find the image that I want to import into my website. And what I'm going to do in this case is use this one. And I'm using this as an example because I want to show you a feature that you can do with this. So once we have our image uploaded, I'm just going to click on it to add it in here. And then you can click, hold and drag it and replace it. And then you can also drag the corners to enlarge it. And let's say I like it like this, but now I'm pointing the wrong direction in this image here. So what I can do is I can actually go up here and go to where it says flip, and then I can horizontally flip it. And now I'm pointing toward the bubble right there with the text in it. So we're going to do a lot of adjusting as we go through this, but you're going to learn the ropes of how to actually edit these images like I do when I'm editing thumbnails for my own channel here. So if we want to, we can also go over here on the left side and let's click on background. And right now we have this orange background. If we want to, we can just change it by clicking something like this, just a regular color, or we can click on this and go into the color wheel right here and change the color for what we're looking for in terms of the background. So I'm going to leave it to be just like this right now. And then I'm going to just click out of it over here. Next, I'm going to actually click on these lines. You can see we're on this lines because the orange color, the color palette shows up right here. If we click on this color palette up here, we can change these colors of the line. So let's just say we want a black, we can click on that and it looks darker coming off of that. I'm going to actually go with the color palette and make it a little bit of a darker blue like this. So it pops a little bit more, I think. And then what we can do from here is we actually can click, drag and 
just maneuver it over a little bit. And I still want it to look like it's coming from behind this area where it's sticking out from this, but I also want it to go behind me. So if you wanted to change your layer, see right now my hand is over this cloud bubble right here. What I could do is I can actually go and change the layer. So right here it says layer. If we click on that, we can move it down and move it down again and again. And now my hand is behind the actual bubble itself. We move to bottom, I'm behind the lines right here. So you can move to top and be above all of it. You can rearrange the layers or the images or the effects that are on the screen to overlap one or another. So I want mine to be above the bubble and the lines behind me. So I'm going to have this move to the top with this image. So another thing we can do is we actually can change the text. So if we click in here, we have different options with the text on the left right here, or we can actually just edit the text that's already on the page. So I'm going to go right here and actually delete the 2023. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to highlight this right here, and then I'm going to change it and just write create social media graphics. And now we can actually go right here. If we want to, we can then hit enter and make it basically spaced out on each line there. So we have create social media graphics kind of more spaced out and looking better once we hit enter between the letters of the words right there. And then from here we can actually click and change the font as well. So right now we can see what the fonts look like in this. So maybe you like a certain thing more like this so it stands out a little bit differently. I'm not too crazy about that. But you get an idea of all different types of fonts. One that I actually really like and use a lot is called Leto right here. I'm going to use that one for this case. And then you can actually bold it and italicize it if you want. You can choose if it's all capitals, all uppercase right here or not. So if you want a specific look, you can easily change that. Again, I'm going to go right here and hit enter to make this go down to the next line. And then I'm going to change the font of it. So right now we're on 45. Let's make something like 66 and see how it looks. And if we click out of here, we can then click back in and rearrange this to be in the center. You see this little slight line that shows up right here. It's right there with these little dotted line. That gives you an idea of how centered you are on the actual image. So I'm going to make it a little bit larger than 66. Let's go with 80. If you want to, you can actually type in the specific size right here. I'm going to again click out and drag it back in. And now we have this pretty much centered right here in the bubble and it says create social media graphics. I'm going to click out of it one more time and basically let's just go over if you wanted to change the color here you could change it again by using this color picker right here or this wheel right here to change the color itself. So that's how you can make it stand out or pop a little bit more with the actual text within this bubble itself. Now let's say you wanted to adjust the size of this bubble. You can actually click on this and you can rearrange the size of it. And see I just made it a little bit smaller. I actually think it fits a little bit better in there. Maybe I'll rise it up a little bit. So now it's right in the center, at least from how I'm viewing it. It looks pretty good. If you needed to, you could actually stretch it out as well. You could stretch out the side a little bit like this. And then it might look a little bit better. Stretch out the corner down here. You can adjust it as needed very easily on here. Now you don't always have to use a template, you can actually create from scratch, but I really like to use the templates that they have available. And I think it's a great way to actually get started quickly and make an image very quickly for your social media graphics. Now the last thing I wanted to go over is how to actually save the file. So if we go up here and we click save, it's going to ask us for a file name. I'm just going to put it as how to create social media graphics. And then I'm going to want it to be high quality. I'm going to download it right now. And then we can use it on YouTube for a thumbnail. You can do this with all different types of platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, all different platforms. So I highly recommend you take a look at it and try it out for yourself. It's very easy to use. You just have to move around and play with it a little bit and you get the hang of it in a few minutes. And you can start creating beautiful looking graphics for your website and social media content as well. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you do, feel free to check out the student discount below in the description and comment below and let me know what you're going to be using Footer for when you're creating your own social media graphics. I'd love to learn more about what you guys have going on. 
thanks for viewing and have a great day.